Did you know it hit 80 degrees in the Arctic this week? And according to the mainstream, we're burning up. Parts of Siberia hit 86 degrees. It's insane. The world must be ending. If we come over and look at the latest global temps, for those that don't know, in the last 60 days, we've seen the largest global temperature drop, the second largest drop in recorded history. It's not a mystery. That's a fact. In fact, the same temperature that we're globally recording in March is just a half a degree difference than the temperature measured back in 1988. That should make you wonder what's going on with headlines like this. They call it global warming for a reason, it says right here. Yeah, because you just make things up. If we actually come over and look at the daily mean temperatures north of 80 degrees and we don't cherry pick a number in one particular town, you're going to find that the Arctic temperatures are exactly normal. In fact, today we're basically at the green line, which represents all the temperatures back to 1958. That's a long time. That's six decades of information. And we're at the same temperature as it was on average back in 1958. Does that mean that global warming for a reason exists? No. It means that the media portrays any warm spike and cherry picks that data to scare you into compliance. The temperature re recorded in March 2020 for the global average is the same as it was in 2009, is four tenths of a degree cooler than it was back in 1998, and just a half a degree warmer than it was back in 1988. Because you can see here, climate is, is not a linear trend upward or downward. It is a nested hierarchy of cycles that go up and down. The low in 2011 was similar to the high in 1979. And the low here in 1989 was similar to the low in 2008. Natural climate variability, which is clearly shown here on this graph. The chartreuse or green line represents the last six decades, which has gone through a global warming phase and a global cooling phase and another global warming phase of hysteria. And you can clearly see here that we are absolutely average in the Arctic. Not only that, the total snow mass for the Northern Hemisphere, excluding the mountains, is at epic record levels, well above the 30-year moving average. Well above. Someone is not giving you the facts, and that's the mainstream media. The facts are that for the last four years, Arctic sea ice extent has been growing and has now reached a position similar to it was back in the mid-90s. There is no difference. There is no catastrophic ice loss. In fact, the lowest ice extents recorded in 2013 and 2007 here, well, that was it. That's your global warming. It's going up from here. And now we have news that Australia is going to suffer a continent-wide icy blast with low temperature records shattered across the entire northern tier. Are you listening? I hope you're not listening to the mainstream because they are simply pumping you filled with disinformation on purpose, paid for by the six multinational corporations that own them. Hope you got something out of the video. Share this with like-minded people. And don't believe the hype because it's based on no scientific evidence whatsoever. And that, well, that's a boom. Be safe. We love you. Share this with like-minded people.